What is up and is going on guys, Simsy here and today for another episode of Kings and Rivers and Hills, How Stark, the sub-mod for Westeros to the War. I'm sure you all guys know that, but I kind of like the little intro. Anyway, nevertheless, we have two battles coming up today. We currently have Gal and Tolhart, Hugo Karstark and his son. We have Buron Frey here with a little bit of reinforcements, but we're attacking the Red Fort, uh, Vardis. Yeah, Vardis is currently the king of the mountain and the vale and uh, we're going to be attacking the red fort this turn we also have buron stark jojen stark and brandon stark attacking longbow hall which has harlan hunter ronald hunter so it looks like we're going to be destroying house hunter so we've got two battles coming up and i'm going to play those both two battles and then once we've taken them um i would not yeah add the arons and uh, the runes uh, the, uh fuck House Aaron only has two settlements left, which are Goldtown and Runestone, so looks like a conquest of the Vale is coming to a coming to an end rather shortly, which is good. Um, okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. <clears throat> nothing else too much happened to be quite frank. Um, looking about, nothing really happened too much in the family tree. Buddy Buron is 76 years old and he's still a five-star general and he's still attacking, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see that he. Saw the Bolton Rebellion come to an end, the Ironborn crushed out of the north, <clears throat> the Riverlands conquered, and the Vale Lands, uh, the Vale Lands, the Vale pretty much um, into the fold. So, which battle should I play first? I think I might play this one, because this is probably, well, I'm both guaranteed a victory on both of them, but, the eh. I'll put the catapults in Tallheart's army and we'll attack the Red Fort. We are. Is he actually Aaron Blood? Dangerously mad. That's good. To see. Yeah, of Aaron Blood. Yeah, okay. So he actually is probably one of the last Aaron. There is a prince called Waymar, but I, I think. From what I can remember playing my own House Aaron campaign, I remember there was a Raymar, uh, Waymar Crafton, so. That's most likely him. And I'm pretty sure we already killed the... We killed Tail on a while ago, along with his other sons, so... Rules are for children. This is war. And in war, the only crimes crime is to lose. The leader of House Hoa. Now, basically, I'm playing a lot more battles in the Vale. And you might be thinking, why the hell is he playing all these battles when he's guaranteed victory? Well, simply, um, when I took the Riverlands... I took the northern part of the Riverlands with really, really easy succession. And um, I don't think I even play. I only played like one or two battles. So I kind of missed out on that, attacking that realm, if you, uh, uh, kingdom, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of making it up to you guys. And uh, there's only two summons left, so let's fuck up the veil. Um, yep, that looks good so far. Um, I guess I might just drop my castle bolts. My, uh... Swordsman there, we'll rally up, put them there, fire, um, what can I do with these catapults, I guess I can put them here, there's only one catapult, so it's catapult, <laughs> sadly we've got a real small unit in that, we probably do need to recruit some more catapults. Going with the good old maneuver. Actually, no, we're going to be going up this way, aren't we? Did I even put the ram on the gate? I don't think I did. Go and tall heart. If you guys could actually remember, uh, he's actually married to Buron's only daughter, so uh, that'll be interesting. Half Stark, half Tall Harp. They had Dustin in there from what I can remember. But now on from the Starks from uh, Brandon's line are going to be half Stark, half Lannister. Well, that's what Hugo is. And uh, once once Buron sadly dies, I will have to uh, marry Hugo off. And to be honest, I have looked about. I have spoken about this a couple of times. There's no one really... Actually, we can fire up on the gateway with these catapults. And there's no one, uh, there's no really decent princesses except for, um, <coughs> Janine, I think? 
or Janine, I don't know, someone, I think it's someone starting with J, some Lannister bitch. Um, yeah, she's like a six-hearted wife, so I'm most likely going to marry Hugo after that, even though that it's like, I think it's, it must be their second or third cousin or something, it's kind of close, but yeah, meh. It's not like brother and sister, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, because the only other houses that I can marry into are obviously House Duron, the Storm. I think it's Duron or Dador. Yeah, it must be Duron. But, uh, what, was that a catapult? Or ballista? It must have been. Hmm. Oh, we're pushing up to the walls. Yeah, there's only a couple of Storm Lords princesses, which are. One is actually of. Dura, um, of a Stormlord King kin, and the other one's of Stokeworth, a Stokeworth princess, and they're both like got one or two hearts, which really would decrease the like. Oh shit! Decrease the likelihood of having an heir. And uh, I think there's a. Uh, I think apart from those two princesses, there's a fourth one, which is Martell, and there's a Martell princess, which I don't really want to marry to House Martell, seeing that the Stormlords are at war with. Oh, I thought I could have gone up that path there. Uh, whatever. I don't really know what our siege equipment's doing now. It's kind of odd. Yeah, I could marry into. Yeah, I don't really want to marry into House Martell because they're at the war with Yarnwood, and uh, who's at war with Yarnwood? Uh, the Stormlords, I think Gardner as well, so. And I probably want to go to war with the Stormlords in some time. After we defeat the Vale. But we do, I do want, the plan is, we will go to war with them at some stage, but the plan is we need to uh, probably focus on more House Gardner and House Hoa, because they're um, establishing a little kingdom far to the south, and I, I think the Lannisters need our help. Which we'll be able to because we have the power of four kingdoms now. The North, the Riverlands, the Iron Islands, and the Vale. We should be able to make a shit ton of armies and just storm through. Get it? Storm through the Storm Lords? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't even make sense. Okay. Have they breached the walls on that side? They have to. I think I'm just going to drop the siege tower here and I'm going to get up on the top of the walls with my with Hugo Karstark's army. Where's the other lot of troops? Yeah, just drop the ram and get up there. Well, we, I did that maneuver trying to attack the other part of the wall so we can get there, but it doesn't seem to be working because seeing as our ram, shit, our ram got destroyed. I didn't even notice. It was like, oh fuck. We only have our one catapult firing. Once that done, we'll move everyone in. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry about that. I had to go let my brother in in the, the, the door. I don't know if you heard a knocking, so... I do apologise if you did. Whoa. <laughs> that, um... That catapult shot went a little bit of wayward than what I expected. Push everyone in. Looks like we're going to start blazing the city, which is cool. Looks like they're broken on the walls. And we just... Hugo Karstark just battered down the other gate. God, that siege tower looks kind of menacing just there. What's even the point of having, like, spikes on the side of it? I don't... Like, is that actually... Is someone actually going to get caught by that? It's more like a... I don't understand. Well, everyone's coming in on this flank. I think we have a unit over here, yeah. He's up on the walls. Wow, do they have, like, crossbowmen? Yeah, mounted crossbowmen. I remember I used the shit out of them in my Aaron Let's Play. They were awesome. So we're pushing the veil vale out. Pushing these guard, these troops out. The enemy 
I don't think we even got our like, arrows off any of our pure archers. I still got my catapults to fire at the gateway. Come on, we need to get away from these. Holy shit. There we go. They're shaking. There goes the general. I'm hoping that was the uh, the king. But once you killed like the print, like once you've gone past the arrow bloodline, it doesn't really matter too much. Since we've already killed, uh, I think obvi obvi obviously Osgood. Um, fuck! What the hell? Osgood, um, Aaron died of old age. Talon, we killed the prince line or Lynn. I can't remember his name. Something something though. Um, he died. We killed him, and then we just killed the other son, so. Pretty sure the bloodline's pretty much wiped out now. Yeah, from what I can remember, the prince, the next prince was a Crafton, so it doesn't really count past there. But you still probably could get a good ransom. Yeah, I'll get Hugo to charge in further. Come on, you lot. Yeah. So once Buron dies, we're gonna marry off Hugo to the Lannister bitch, and then, uh, and then we can actually move Hugo into the tower. I, I probably, I've got him at Old Stones. I would usually have him like fighting. I would have preferred him to be fighting more than Jojen. Fight, uh, probably fighting with Jojen actually, even though Jojen's a better general. But uh, I do want to get his general up a bit. But I probably want to get him have a son at least or an heir. Too hard. An amazing general. Okay, we're pushing in now. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I think there was maybe a unit over near the catapults, but it looks like we've dealt with them realistically. So obviously once we finish this battle, we got the battle with Joj and Buron. And Brandon, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up, if that um that turns out to be the last battle with Buron because he's 76 years old. I'm still really um surprised that he actually lived that long, even though he's been like winning victories for the past couple of days. Because they usually die when they're around about 70, 72. That's really the max. Actually, I don't think I've even seen anyone live that far. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So now that he's se he's seen his, it's kind of good to see. Um, that he's seen Hugo, his grandson, looks like he's 20 years old and he's about to marry on. Which is good. Which is not like, uh, coming from like a, uh, a Game of Thrones perspective. It's kind of good to admire, I guess. How Stark, getting some good luck, I guess. Come on, we can finish off the veil. There goes, there's Hugo, Karl Stark. Well, that might be the other Karl Stark. Um, yeah, I could have actually married um, maybe one of Brandon's, yeah, Brandon's daughter too, Karl Stark, which could have strengthened the line of Karl Stark and uh, Stark, but nah. Because um, Hugo, Karl Stark, not, not to be confused with Hugo Stark, but Hugo, Karl Stark is half Stark. Um, I think Buron and him share an auntie or something. Oh no, family trees are kind of confusing. And now this new house, Tall Hearts, being brought into the fold, and there's a couple of Glover blood in there. So. It's fucking awesome. It's awesome.
I probably think too much. I really go into too much of the family trees now that I've noticed. I really love the family tree, especially in Game of Thrones. I care about it more in Total War. I kind of regret. I kind of wish they make them more in depth. What's this even here? Light militia. As if they're like. Uh, haven't routed yet. Are they wavering? I might bring Tallhard in now. Have him coming up the causeway. Mm. Awesome. Ah, oh, damn it. I always hate this. I wish you could, like, tell the enemy, the ally AI, to not fire. Not use fire. God damn it. It's too, it, it, it. Yeah, well, having the fire on actually creates friendly fire, so. What do you expect? Uh oh, I was gonna say I couldn't see actual Hugo. Uh, well, the car Stark boy. I'm imagining it's the boy. I don't think Hugo Car Stark would be in there, in the thick of it too much. Clear victory. I would say we nearly finished him off. Here comes the king in the north, the king in the north, the king in the north. Here comes the king in the north. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, there's one. Was that him? No. Oh, well. God, this guy's fighting valiantly. And battle. We lost. We didn't lose too many. Gao and Toha. I'm quite happy with that result. One less Aaron settlement we have to take. You spend all your time trying to get even with Domric for the wrongs he's done to your family. Perhaps it would be better time spent trying to get ahead of him. Arnoff car stuck to Buron Stark. Ah, yeah, Arnoff, if you can remember, he died in the battle between the Dreadfort Prince. Him and Andrew Umber actually died. Oh, speaking of Umber, I think he had a son, didn't he? He did too. He had a really good son. Leobold Umber, one, two, six star general. And I think House Stout had a bastard. Because House Stout married into, yeah, he's a bastard of, um, ma they married into House Dustin, a Dustin princess, I think. And then he had a bastard, which was kind of stupid. There's an Aaron there. We could marry, <laughs> nah. That could be our claim, but I don't want to stink an Aaron blood in my family. Okay, uh, we'll rally up and we'll move on uh, Gold Town. We want to put better archers in there, and he's the better general. So, move, and I'll probably leave Buron Frey as the garrison. Even though this one I mean, looks really heavily full of archers. Um, yeah. We'll retrain and recruit. Okay, let's start moving these troops. Um, Gold Town is. Nah, it's actually not very defended, to be honest. There's only just shitty militia, so we might be able to move on it. I would usually wait for reinforcements from Georgian. And those three armies up there, but... Yeah, I'm going to move Karstuk just here for the time being. We better watch Tau. Okay. We started making an army in the Vale now. We'll keep, we'll keep recruiting. Okay. We have a battle again. Uh, whose army should I take? I did recruit some... First men bowmen, they're really good. Their upkeep did cost a bit, we had shitloads of money, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 
Hmm, I'm thinking who to take. I think I'm going to take Buron's army. We'll attack. We'll do a night attack. Harlan Hunter, last remaining troops. I think it would be kind of better to... Wow, what the hell? He doesn't have that good a command, does he? Okay. Um, I didn't think... He... What the fuck? Um, he says he's like a four-star general, so... It's kind of odd. Oh, well, we got reinforcements from Jogan Stark and Prince Brandon. And uh, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.